So the new season of The Real Housewives of Potomac is gearing up, and apparently Candace has some tea on Mia Thornton's recent divorce. Her husband and Happy Eddie got a text message from Gordon ready to give all the tea to both Dr. Wendy Acefo and Candace about why he decided to leave Mia Thornton. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it was just a couple of days ago that we reported to you that Mia Thornton and Gordon, according to TV Deeds, had been separated for months. Well, since then, she has confirmed to People Magazine that they are separated. So saying this in a statement, Mia says, like all marriages, ours had its ups and its downs. At this time, Gordon and I are separated, but my family is my number one priority and I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to make sure we are okay. She says, we ask that, that you respect our privacy and give us the time and space to figure things out. Here's the thing, sidebar, I've heard about this rumor for a couple of weeks now and I just was, I just didn't care. <laughs> Anyone else? And I think a lot of you are like, you're not shocked by this news. And some of you are like, we really don't care. It feels like a storyline. And we also are not surprised, especially when you have watched their dynamic on the show. And especially when you watch, remember that little beef with Peter Thomas after last season on social media? And I'm looking at Mia and Gordon. They're both messy. Well, before we get into that. So I just want to remind you what was said in the TV Deets article in regards to this. They said Mia Thornton and her husband, Gordon, have been separated for months, according to their, their podcast. Brett Staffen said, this is not a new separation. They have been separated for months and are, in essence, living separate lives. I'm told their separation is amicable. This is important for me to remind you this because of what of Candace says in this interview. So Gordon doesn't necessarily want his marriage to end. I don't know if Gordon is going to be able to prevent that from happening, but it is amicable in the sense that Gordon wants to make it work and Gordon wants to get along with Mia. These words were interesting because Candace on a recent podcast was being interviewed and talked about this interesting element to the story that we need to unpack. Mia talking about her and G and like filing for divorce, uh -huh. that was news to me. Really? I was not aware that they were having marital issues until, I've not talked about this, um, Gordon, <laughs> oh say it, can't say it. Gordon, well first he texted and then was calling Chris and Eddie and was like, um, I'm Mia. I'm leaving her, <gasps> and I moved out. What? Month yes, yes. Is this? this was like oh, last month. It. He month? called. This is when he called Chris, <gasps> and she was like, "And I, um, I want to, I want to give um, Candace and Wendy all the tea so they can know what's going on." What? And I was like, "Listen, but I will get involved in a lot of." <laughs> <shit."> <laughs> I am <laughs> not. I don't want that karma on not me. I'm not getting involved in anybody's marriage. But yet, like, so when I saw that, I was like, well, wait, like, do, do the people know that they're having these issues? Because so that's not something you guys were like, talking about. I, no, I wasn't. That you weren't. I don't know if Mia was, because Mia is up asses that I don't know. Of. <laughs> so she may have been discussing it with them, but like, I was not ever privy. And I spent time with Mia. We never talked about her and G having issues. Damn. So here's the thing. So when I read the TV Deets article and it's saying that Gordon wants to make it work, it makes me believe that this whole media information that we're getting is from Mia's camp. Because based off what Candace is saying, Gordon reached out to Chris and Happy Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. I just I, I just I have to keep saying that. It seems as if he's just as messy as Mia. But it also seems if you are the one that left Mia and you're ready to give all the tea to Candace and Wendy for this show, first of all, how much do you, you value Mia? What exactly was the reasoning for the ending of this marriage? For you to go to that level that you're ready to embarrass, embarrass the woman that you spent the last how many years, 11 years with, and you have two young children with her? 
it's it's weird. It's weird. As you saw, Candace is like, I don't want any involvement in this. I'm not trying to get my hands messy. That leave that. I'm gonna add in this part. Leave that to someone like Giselle. <laughs> Candace Olsen says she doesn't know if this is even talked about during the show because Mia never talked about this with her. She may have talked about these things with with people like Giselle and Robin, because, as you know, since Mia's first season, she's wanted to be friends with them. She's thrown Karen under the bus so she can be friends with the Green Eyed Devils. Oh, <laughs> Green Eyed Bandits. I promise you that was not intentional. It just came out that way. I don't know who to trust in the situation. Some of you are probably like, we don't care. We saw that this was not going to work. You, you, you lose them how you got them. And you remember, she admitted on this show that she met this man in Miami. He came down to meet her in Miami. She was spreading it, laying it low and spreading it wide on a beach in Miami. And he was a married man. And we're not surprised by any of this. We're not surprised based off their antics and everyone last season talking about, well, did your girlfriend Jacqueline sleep with him too? And like, it, it just, something just never felt 100% as much as we know Mia's real age. Everything has felt very much like a lie. And that's one of the things that a lot of people have critiqued about Potomac. They feel like a lot of things that people are not coming and showing their truth. Do you believe this divorce? I believe that this is a real divorce. I believe that they're turning on each other. I believe that they probably have never had real respect for each other. I feel like this is a older man who had the young thing. And now because he's being pushed out by his family from his business, the money is dried up. So she's no longer interested. Maybe his family. I've seen some of these comments. Maybe his family is like, well, if you get rid of her, we'll bring you back into the business. Because we have seen Mia be at the, you know, chiropractic business. And we're like, girl, are you organizing cabinets or are you really a CEO? And she's like, I make $100,000. And we're like, girl, all you're bragging is about is receiving a check. And we know there are plenty of people in businesses where family are owned, where family owns the business, and they do nothing. They just sort of show up. I have a feeling that's what Mia has done in this joint chiropractic business. I don't believe that she really was some sort of CEO doing anything. If anything, they probably were happy that she was going to be on the show talking about their business. But as you know, last season, we, we found out the news that she had been pushed out. We can't even trust what Mia has told us on the reasoning on how she was pushed out. And basically, it seems as if they still are not within that business. And that's their, that's their moneymaker, that's their moneymaker. So I wouldn't be shocked that some of their troubles in their marriage has to do with the fin the finances. Just saying. But the fact that these two are turning on each other the way that they're turning on each other, that your husband of 11 years is going to people he just met, willing to give them tea on you, and he's saying that he left you, I don't know what to believe in this situation. I wonder if it will play out during the season. I have a feeling that you will see the cracks. But... Am I even that interested? Are you even that interested? Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this Mia and Gordon divorce that's happening. Because I believe it's going to be a divorce. I don't believe it's just going to be a separation, even though they've been separated for months. But as we learned with Ashley's divorce, or whatever that is, you have to be separated for a period of time in the, down there before you're able to file for divorce. We shall see. Of course, we're going to start covering the show come November. Happy October, guys. So let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the